Hello, my creative friends. Olga's only here. I have my art night uniform on, so time to play with some paint. Today, I'm gonna do acrylic point swipe using this Artist Loft Ready Mix Point Paint. And this paint has been working very well for me, especially for swipe technique. So that's what I'm doing today, but I want to change few things around and make it differently. And this video is sponsored by the Skillshare. If you're not familiar with it, Skillshare is an online community for creative people that offers a lot to explore. They have all kinds of online classes and projects. And as you know, this is where I learn my video editing from. And this year I made some really big plans. So first of all, I really want to grow my Instagram. And right now my Instagram is, is growing pretty well, but I really want to kick it to a <laughs> really next level. So right now I'm learning on how to take pictures of my art more professionally. And Skillshare has several really good classes on that topic. And also this year I want to experiment and explore a lot more different supplies and techniques in acrylic pouring and not only, I want to try alcohol inks and resin pour. By the way, let me know if you would like me to share videos about alcohol inks and resin pours on this channel. I'm gonna create a little pool here somewhere in the corner, so please go ahead and make one selection to let me know. So yeah, uh, I really like that Skillshare has classes that has basics, like it really has structure from the very beginning, like what supplies to use, what are the basic techniques, so that's really good. So if you also want to expand your skills in 2020, click on the link in the description. It's gonna give you two months of free premium membership, so go ahead and explore your creativity. So with that being said, let's get started. So like I said, I want to do swipe, but today I want to do it with, first of all, with black as my swipe color, and also I want to keep some negative space. I have never combined swipe technique with negative space. I kind of have the idea in my mind, and I really hope it's going to work out well. So I'm going to add some silicone to my colors and go from there. drops of silicone to the black and only one drop to the rest of the colors. I'm using the same stir and stick for all the colors and I'm just uh, wiping it after each color. I'm use it over again. So today I'm working on 11 by 14 canvas and first I'm going to apply black base layer and I'm going to try and work with black negative space today and I'm going to pour right from the bottle so no silicone in the base layer. The base layer is done and what I want to try and do, I want to do sort of like a diagonal swipe like from here up and leave negative space down here. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I guess we're going to find out right now. So obviously the black color is very dark, so I chose all the light and bright colors to make a nice good contrast so the whole picture doesn't get too dark. Beautiful, I should stop right here. 
today. Try and stretch it a little bit down. Okay. So now I'm gonna add that black that has silicone in it. happens storage. Some very beautiful cells are opening. I should give it a couple minutes to see how that goes. I feel like our, this edge is a bit too sharp. I think I'm gonna grab a straw and blow it towards that end a little bit. So far it looks really cool. The cells are opening very beautifully. I have a desperate desire to swipe a little bit of that paint back here because right now I'm feeling there's a little too much of negative space here. Yeah, I definitely like it better this way. There's very little color here. I don't even know if it's still gonna be there after drying. Maybe it's gonna just disappear in black. But right now, I definitely like it better. I think it brings more uh, balance into this composition. But those cells, man, they're just wild. Wow! Let me bring you for a close-up. It's totally worth it. Such beautiful cells. Wow. Please stay while drying. Looks really amazing so far. And now let's see how this beauty dries. Well, so there we have it dry. I would say that it has dried really awesome. The cells stayed really sharp and bright despite the black base. And although I would still love these colors here to be a little brighter, but the main part is really awesome. Let me show you a little closer. And you see how nice and glossy it is. This is just how this paint dries. There is no uh, varnish of any kind there. This is just dry pour. I am so happy about it! Like those cells are just amazing! And I did one more, I did this swipe more like in a parallel motion and this one I swiped more like in a race direction and added some gold and I think this one is also pretty cool. Some really nice and shiny cells, that's what I love. So overall, I'm very happy about my experiment combining swipe technique with negative space. I would love to hear from you. What do you think about my today's pour? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you liked it, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel to see more experiments and different acrylic pouring techniques. So thank you so much for watching. Happy pouring and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.